So I start every day with celery juice. It's very bland and very boring. It doesn't taste disgusting to me, but it's not the most exciting juice, but you have to have it on its own. So I start with that. I also take all my vitamins. I put them here so I remember. I love these sprays. They're so handy. They're just really easy to take. I think you get them in boots, but B12 and vitamin D and obviously C. I take this licorice and ginseng for my adrenals, which is pretty fab. And yeah, so onto my juice. I'm gonna drink my celery juice as quickly as possible. You can't really eat or drink anything for 30 minutes after for full benefit. I'm desperate for my coffee, so I'm just gonna do some breakfast for the girls. They're having a fruit plate. They're gonna have a little omelet. And um, then I get my coffee. I cannot wait for my coffee. This is literally, I'm not gonna lie, probably one of the highlights of my day. I absolutely love my coffee. I have it with two sugars, bit of almond milk, and I have a latte macchiato, and it's so blooming good. I have tried to just have two a day, and then I have the other one, I have a matcha latte, but yeah, I just, honestly, I can't get by without my coffee. So I've just got out of the shower, I've washed my hair, dried my hair which is always a luxury. My husband is watching the girls for me. It's always quite crazy. And with him working from home, I don't always get the chance to put my makeup on. I've had no makeup on most days, to be honest, but it's good. It's allowing my skin to breathe, I guess. My hair is getting much thinner. It's been much thinner in the last few years. So I've been trying various things on it. Most things have niacin in and they just make me itch like crazy. So I'm having to like stop everything. But I'm currently using a, a new one, um, a Walida thing, revitalizing hair tonic. I don't know if it will work. It doesn't make my hair greasy though, which is amazing because most of them make them like so super greasy. And when your hair is fine anyway, you just kind of look like, ugh. But um, yeah, this doesn't. It's almost like putting water on your hair. So whether it makes my hair thicker, we, we won't know for a while. But yes, trying that one out at the moment. And I'm gonna just put my makeup on and that's it. I get asked a lot about my skincare. Over Christmas, I used a product with way too much retinol in it and it really damaged the barrier of my skin. So I've just been trying to repair it. It's still not there. So I'm just using some really lovely, rich, soothing products. I love this sublimage eye cream. I find it really, really helps. So that's a good one. This I'm addicted to. This is a medical, it's Neostrata. It's just a serum and it makes your skin feel so voluminous and just plump. I love, love, love this. This is the serum I'm using. Again, it's for moisture. It's just building, helping me build my barrier back up. And I love this. This is my general day cream. I'm not using it all the time at the moment because it's a little bit harsh on my skin. So I'm kind of mixing it up. I sometimes use it and then I just use a factor, factor on my skin. Always have a sun factor because I've got really bad pigmentation. So that's kind of it at the moment. It's quite basic. Right, I'm about finished my makeup. Just gonna finish my brows. I think the brows are so important. They really frame my face, especially because I'm so fair. My eyebrows are so, so blonde. I'm just gonna finish with this. It's such a gorgeous day outside. I'm gonna wear a lovely dress. I don't know which one yet, but I'll have a look. I never really plan what I wear. So I went with this dress. It's a Vitikin dress. I've loved her dresses from day dot when she started doing all the Ukrainian kind of folk dresses with the heavy embroidery. They are definitely an investment though, um, they're not cheap. But then I have all of the ones that I've had for years now and I kind of pull them out every summer. This is this season's though, um, this year she's done these really pretty ones with big collars. And I just like them, they're so easy to wear. It's just a simple piece. They're light, they're linen, and it's simple to throw on. So that's what I am wearing today. Right, I'm gonna run upstairs and relieve my husband of the girls. So we're just heading to the garden. Nearly a crash. Good girl. So I've brought the girls in the garden for a run around. We're very lucky that we've got a garden. I mean, it's a communal garden, but we're lucky we've got the garden. Hey, Winty. Hi. 
and she's off doing her own thing all the time. So we've been able to come in here. We normally come in in the evening actually when there's not so many people around, but it looked quite quiet today. So I thought why not bring them in and have like a little snack in the garden and let them run some energy off. Um, and I actually get to sit down, which is always a bonus. So I have come out to do my walk and try to do 10,000 steps every day, winter sleeps from two to four normally. So yeah, I get to come and do a little bit of exercise, which I love. I can't do much, but I like to get my steps in. I don't normally, I've no idea why my earrings are in other than I was just too forgetful to take them out. But they're, they're not in for any other reason. I love walking around London. I mean, look, it's so empty. It's just perfect. Um, Road. Yeah, it's just so lovely to walk around. I feel like, feel like you're one of the few people out and about. The high street's still busy, but everything else is quite quiet. I just got them from the little flower store, the local one. Oh my gosh, phenomenal. If you follow my Instagram, you know I'm obsessed with flowers. Um, I need to do them. I'm going to take all the leaves off sort them out. It's hit or miss. Sometimes I butcher them, sometimes I make them look good today is a lucky day but they had so much foliage but um, very happy with those okay the flowers are done as per usual something's come up my photographer is I'm so excited about this coming over to shoot something for me I've got a little campaign that I'm doing and I need a decent photo and my husband is great but um, it's <laughs> trying to be diplomatic here. It's easier to shoot with her, especially for it's a beauty job. So she's coming, she's gonna swing by. I haven't seen anyone really in 12 weeks. So it's gonna be um, nice just to see somebody else. We'll be doing some social distancing shoot, but um, hopefully it will work out. Okay, so this is my shoot rail as it were. So this is what I'm going to shoot today this gorgeous Kate dress. It's got the most amazing shoulders. It's just phenomenal. And you can wear it kind of short or it comes with a, a skirt that you can put under it, which is really fab. Another Vita Ken. Just love all of her pieces. Um, and this, I mean, she makes the nicest dresses. The back, oh, amazing. Well, it's not very color coordinated because it's kind of just an amalgamation of what I have been gifted or loaned or I need to shoot for jobs. So it's kind of just all here. This dress, I was gifted this dress to go on safari. Um, obviously the safari didn't happen because it was supposed to be right at the beginning of the outbreak of the COVID. So this is my safari section. I don't know why I haven't taken it away, but I've kind of left it there because we're supposed to be going at the end of August, but I doubt that's gonna happen. Although I do feel very lucky that we're just safe in here. So, um, I'm not going to complain about that. I'm sure we'll make it one day on safari. Right, I'm going to have to get ready because Rebecca's coming in literally 20 minutes. Totally changed my mind. I'm going to actually shoot the product in the white because it's got to pop. It didn't really pop on the black because it's dark purple. I love this dress so much. Oh my goodness. Divine. So I kind of feel like we've all got some kind of amusing lockdown story. So I'm going to share mine. I've been debating whether to tell you this story, but I am going to tell it. So mine, every time I think of this, I just want the ground to swallow me up. Um, it's the beginning of lockdown. I just bought a bike. So I bought a bike at the beginning. I thought, right, I'm going to be healthy. I'll be able to go and do that. Soleil's just started her Zoom lesson. She sits at the dining table at the back, just here. It's a live maths lesson. She's talking away, there's all 17 of them, the teacher, they're interacting. Um, everyone's trying to be quiet. I come upstairs, I'm whispering. And I walk to the front of the living room and I see this guy and he's got my bike and he's trying to yank it off the railings. Like, and without thinking, I just yell at the top of my voice, Oi, I can see you, you. Soleil's like, mommy, mommy, mommy. I'm like, what? I didn't even get, I'm so enraged at this guy. I'm just screaming at this guy. Winter swears, massive parenting fail. And I was just like, oh my God. Literally, every time I think of it, I'm just, they heard me, all these children. And I told Soleil, I was like, you need to email the teacher right away and explain what happened. 
which he did. And then afterwards I was like, well, that was kind of dumb because it could have been anyone, right? <laughs> it could have probably gone away with it, but I owned it. Apparently, I'm being, I hope, this is what I hope, the maths lesson had ended and she didn't hear any of it. Or, well, they're saying that maybe they didn't, she still said maybe she didn't hear it because the maths lesson was ending anytime soon. But, um, literally just cringe, cringe, massive, massive parenting fail. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd share that with you. Okay, I'm gonna cook dinner tonight for us and the girls. We don't always do that. In fact, normally we eat separately. And it's such nice weather. I'm gonna do a nice, easy supper on our little patio. Um, the girls love that. It's nice to sit down all together. So I'm just cooking. It's a Jamie Oliver recipe. It's just chicken and milk. Um, I'm cooking it because the girls love it. It's just simple, simple. It takes nothing to make. I haven't got a load of time. So here goes. I'm just heating some oil in the pan. Then I'm gonna put the chicken in and brown the chicken. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a fan of cooking chicken. They give me the heebie-jeebies if I'm perfectly honest. Um, I can cook anything else, like literally anything, but birds freak me out. I have a bird phobia, by the way, that's why. Um, I don't even like eating chicken, but the kids love it, my husband loves it, so I'm doing that. And it's just a bit more exciting than a roast chicken. I've done two lemons, the zest, zested it. I've got 10 cloves of garlic, handful of sage leaves, half a cinnamon stick, and then I'm gonna add milk, and you just kind of make this sauce that curdles, and the chicken's super, super tender kind of falls off the bone. So that's what I'm making right now. I've basically thrown everything in, 550 mils of milk, the lemon, the sage, the garlic in its skin, the cinnamon stick. I'm gonna put a lid on it. The recipe doesn't say to do that, but I like it. I just put a lid on it. Um, and I cook for about an hour and a half and I take the lid off probably 20 minutes before the end, just so it doesn't, um, just to give it a nice brown kind of look. And I baste it occasionally, but it's just something you just forget about it, really. Okay, I've laid the table. I spilled a load of water on the table. Um, I tipped over a vase with some flowers in. I love eating outside, it's such a luxury. Um, when you live in London, I just like, I love it so much. Because My husband's gonna let me take a very small oh hit there. He hates bringing in anything. Just mind the candles, girls. Yeah. Uh, mind the candle. Okay, guys, I'm going to go and finish supper and have a super large glass of wine. I um, hope you enjoyed my vlog with Sherlock's for the day of a typical-ish day in lockdown. Um, take care and stay safe. Bye.